You guys want to know the number one thing that I was afraid of when it came to my first goth club or goth night experience in a bar? Being shunned and judged by elder goths simply for being young. Or worse, that they'd call me a poser for not being into all of these obscure 1980s style goth bands from the post-punk era that I really don't have a propensity for. And guess what actually ended up happening? The elder goths in that bar that night in New Orleans three years ago, they accepted me as one of their own. They included me. They didn't care that I wasn't even 21 years old. And it was amazing. It was totally something I didn't expect. Hell, one of them even lifted up my hair and started putting ice on the back of my neck to cool me down from the New Orleans heat. I didn't expect anyone to be that nice. So that experience that I had in New Orleans quickly dispelled my fears. I met and became friends with so many elder goths, despite my age, who accepted me as one of their own. That being said, my fears weren't unfounded. Unfortunately, over the years online, I have seen lots of elder goths with this get off of my lawn gothier than thou attitude toward younger goths. And whether they realize it or not, or if they care, they are alienating the young people who may take interest in the subculture. While they nostalgically mourn that they want the life back in their goth scene again, they shame young people who want to get involved. How's that supposed to work? They whine about how they want new bands that sound like the bands that they listened to in the post-punk movement in the 80s, but then they complain about new bands that kind of fall into that post-punk sort of sound, complaining that they sound like a ripoff of those bands. So which is it? A very close friend of mine actually told me a story of something that she experienced. So she was in a goth club and a kind of a seasoned elder goth musician was verbally and physically keeping these young goths out of a goth club telling them you don't want to go in there you're not going to like the music and this was even after many many minutes of these poor young goths trying to convince him yes we want to go in we want to have fun we want to have a good time in there we want to go in oh que tragedia signore they always have the notion that young people have horrible taste, particularly taste in music. And act surprised when the young goth in question begins to describe their musical tastes, and then they have the nerve to respond with, Oh, wow, you have really good taste for a young goth, I have to say. Dude, what? <laughs> the hell is that? And yes, that is something that has been said to me before. Yeah. <laughs> this behavior and mindset is unacceptable. It's uninclusive, snobby, and damaging to the subculture. I kind of like to think of the goth subculture sort of as a vampire. The vampire needs fresh blood in order to survive and keep living on. These elder goths who sneer at the young goths who take interest in the subculture are cutting off the blood supply that the vampire needs to stay alive. That's a problem, isn't it? I don't want that vampire to die. They continue to spout this toxic attitude of, oh, we had it harder back in the day, or oh, you don't understand what it was like back then. And so because of that, these elder goths chastise us for our age. I'm 23 years old, and guess what? Most of my friends that are in involved in the goth subculture are elder goths. So to these kind of snobby elder goths who act like youth is toxic in the subculture, if you're under 35 and don't live in an area that has a thriving goth scene, you might as well be persona non grata. It's not cool, man. Some elder goths seem to have a problem with young goths getting involved in the goth subculture online. Goths in small towns, such as myself and such as my best friend Gabby, don't have the luxury of going out to clubs every single weekend and mingling with like-minded people. We wish we had that luxury. So, that being said, the only other exposure that we get to the subculture is online, and that's the only way that we can connect with other goths from all over the country, and even all around the world. And that's how we learn about the music. And yes, online we can discuss things that unite us. Literature, music, DIY projects, you know, classic horror films. Ugh, we thrive on that shit. Artwork, architecture, ugh, it's gorgeous. Without the internet, we would otherwise not have 
that kind of connection with someone. It's almost like these elder gods just want us to stay in these little tiny boxes and not want us to mingle with anyone else. It doesn't make any sense. And what the hell is wrong with posting selfies on Instagram? I don't see anything wrong with it. Hell, I see a lot of my elder god friends doing it all the time. What's the problem? For goths who don't live in an area where there is a large goth population, where they do have the ability to go to a goth club and congregate with other goths, that's the closest that we have to showing off our outfit to other goths. That's the closest thing we have. And sometimes it can comfort us and make us feel a little more welcome in a widespread community, even if we live in a tiny corner of shit splat middle of nowhere, butt ass hot in Sela. Okay. <laughs> well, I do admit that there are some young people out there who aren't genuinely interested in the subculture. It's really not fair to lump us all into that category just because we're young, okay? As a young goth, I am tired of seeing these expensive fashion hauls and shoe hauls and makeup tutorials and these transformation videos and reaction videos. I'm tired of seeing that, okay? <laughs> I want the more cultural aspect of goth. That's the reason why I fell in love with the subculture. I want more videos about the music, about the experiences, about the literature, the artwork, you know, the architecture, and those wonderful gothic horror films that I fell in love with when I was a young teenager. So it's not fair to say that all young goths don't take a genuine interest in the subculture. You want to know something that rocks about being friends with these elder goths? Oh my god, so many things! So many damn things! I share with you these amazing goth bands that you have never heard of and probably wouldn't have heard of without their guidance. And you find a whole new subgenre of goth music that you didn't even know existed. That something that totally fit with who you were as a person and really spoke to your soul. That's awesome! I think that, honestly, is the best part about being friends with elder goths. They gave you tips on how to find the best stuff in thrift stores and how you can dress it up and DIY it to make it awesome and goth. They give you great advice on how to survive your first goth club experience and reassure you that the assholes in the clubs are not going to ruin your night and you're gonna have a blast. They tell you these amazing stories of their experiences in the clubs when the goth subculture and the nightlife in the goth subculture was at its peak in the late 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s, and it's really incredible to hear those stories. You know how that makes me feel? It makes me want to have the scene back. It makes me wish that we could bring back that spirit. And what does that lead to? It leads to a desire to want to rebuild the subculture and bring back what's awesome about it. Bring back the things that drew you into it in the first place. But guess what? None of these things can actually happen if these elder goths continue to have this snobby, gatekeeping attitude toward younger goths. That's the fastest way to run us off and scare us away. Instead of shaming us, why don't you teach us? Take us under your wing. Share bands with us that you think we'll like. Tell us about your experiences. Get us excited about the subculture. It will help to preserve the legacy of the goth subculture and keep it living for decades to come. For fuck's sake, stop whining about how real goth died in the 80s and quit telling us to get the fuck off of your lawn. Bye.